Honoring the men and women who serve and protect our country, that's what Veterans Day is all about. People across southwest, central, and southside Virginia showed their appreciation today. 10 News reporter Cindy Jacksheimer highlights today's events that honored our American heroes. In Bedford, a plaza erupted at the National D-Day Memorial as veterans from each branch were honored, one of whom was World War II veteran, 92-year-old Daniel Valerio. Well, I'm happy to the fact that people are starting to recognize that if it wasn't for World War II, a lot of them wouldn't be here. And it's uh, a, a joy just to know that the people are receptive, that the veterans are here, and they're enjoying the fact that they're free. Farther east in downtown Lynchburg, Monument Terrace played the tolling of the bell. For veterans like two-time Purple Heart recipient Steve Bozeman, it's an emotional day. The deep down in my soul, see I'm getting ready again. <laughs> my four years in the Marine Corps was the best Four years, four years of my life, really. And I'm proud to be a veteran. Down in the New River Valley, Virginia Tech hosted their annual ceremony with the Corps of Cadets performing a 21-gun salute. <laughs> University President Tim Sands shared the historic ties between Virginia Tech and the military. Our motto is pro sem, uh, that I may serve. It uh, came out of the Corps of Cadets in the 1890s. And uh, uh, back then, I, you know, historians tell me, and I think this is open to interpretation, but that the, uh, the concept was that a Virginia Tech member of the Corps, or a Virginia Tech student, as we would think of it now, uh, leads from the front. That uh, when there's danger ahead of them, they're the first ones to run down the hill. Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.